what is going on, people. If you couldn't tell by the title, I'm here for another review. But this actually isn't of, you know, an indie horror or anything like that. This is actually of a documentary that I got to watch a little early. Um, and it comes out this Tuesday. And that is, if you couldn't tell by the title, Raiders. The story of the greatest fan film ever made. So pretty much what this is about is, I'm guessing in the early 90s, um, I think it's early 90s or late 80s or whatever it was, there was a group of kids that decided to uh, retape the whole Raiders of the Lost Ark movie shot by shot by shot, but on your typical, you know, normal handheld camera kind of deal or what the, what was around at that point. Um, probably one of those big, you know, ones where you put the VHS tape in and whatever. So they pretty much made this thing shot for shot, except for one scene. The only scene that they didn't do, I guess they didn't have the means to do it, was the one scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark where they're fighting near the plane and everything, and the guy gets, you know, if you've seen the movie, I don't want to spoil it, whatever. So pretty much that's the only scene that wasn't made, so the movie itself wasn't complete. But it was put out there, and let's just say it, it kind of became a cult phenomenon, I guess you want to call it. And, um, you know, it's it's one that, you know, if you're a Raiders of the Lost Ark, Raiders of the Lost Ark, or any Indiana Jones movie for that matter, if you're a big fan of that, it's definitely a very interesting documentary. It's uh, actually put out... Uh, the directors and the director, uh, directors and writers are uh, Jeremy Kuhn and Tim Skousen. Hopefully, I said that right. They both direct and write it. It stars Chris Strompolis, Eric Zala, uh, John Rides Davies, and then it's got some bigger names like uh, Eli Roth in it and whatever. Because what happens is later on in life, it's now I'm guessing it's you know, in the 2000s. I, the dates, to tell you the truth, I, they might have mentioned it, but I don't remember. But it pretty much it's now in the 2000s. And this, be, this you know, fan, uh, this fan-made film by these little kids has become, I guess, it's gotten its rounds and it's become one of those, you know, cult classic kind of like low-key kind of deals. So what they actually want to do is now kind of go through and go back and find these kids and fund Eli Roth is in it for you know pretty much a, a good chunk talking about it. What they want to do is this group, uh, other group of guys, want to go fund this so then they can get that last scene you know done. And it's them trying to get the funds and trying to get the backers and everything. Also, what they want to do is find the actual kids that did it. Um, throughout, I think it was like a seven-year process that these kids did it, so as the movie, as the different scenes were getting shot, they were getting older, so it was put in different sequences, and there were different ages at different times, but this, you know, fan film, you know, was was what everybody, I guess, wanted to see. Supposedly, they, they put it before the screening of the Two Towers or something, and no one wanted to watch the two towers after they wanted to see the rest of the movie. But again, it wasn't a complete movie because they did not have that scene. So fast forward, they have to get these, you know, these guys back to now they're older. But, you know, they kind of broke up and they, you know, went separate ways. They got into arguments or whatever. But they wanted to get these guys back together they wanted to get that last scene shot just so they could put it together a whole movie um i must say for a documentary it's really well done i didn't know about it beforehand so this is kind of a, like a new thing to me i am a indiana jones you know the the films are good but i n never heard of you know the a fan made film but it seemed like a lot of people knew it uh this is a uh, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack, so I'll leave the link to it. it. Is on Amazon. It comes out this Tuesday. I don't know if it's going to be everywhere, like Best Buy or stores, but I know it is going to be on Amazon, which I'll leave the link to. But it's you know packed with uh, a whole lot of special features as well. There's outtakes. There's Q and As. There's uh, the premiere adaptation uh, of I guess this movie, which I actually did not check out yet. But there's a whole bunch of, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff and a lot of commentaries and a whole bunch of stuff. But 
I must say it's very interesting. Again, I had no idea about it beforehand, but you know, it's it's interesting to learn how you know these young kids just put together a a movie that I guess I'm sure they didn't think of much of it, but I guess it got in the right hands or whatever, and then supposedly it actually got to uh, you know Steven Spielberg himself who directed uh, the original movies, and supposedly he was all for it and everything and. You know, it was just a very interesting, you know, uh, very interesting documentary. Especially if you're into documentaries, if you're into, you know, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark by itself, or, you know, Indiana Jones overall. But it comes with this nice little booklet and everything. It just comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It's put out by Draft House Films. So, I say if you're into documentaries, if you're into, you know... Raiders of the Lost Ark, if you're into Indiana Jones himself, if you're into Steven Spielberg movies, I definitely say go ahead check this one out. Raiders, the story of the greatest fan film ever made. I definitely enjoyed it. Definitely go ahead check it out. I'll leave the link again to where you can purchase it. I have the link for Amazon. That right now is where I know you can purchase it. You can, uh, you know, pre order it or just wait till Tuesday because it does come out the 16th. Or, you know, you can always check, I don't know, if it's going to be, but in, they might carry it in like a Best Buy or a Target or something. That I don't know. But, I'd say go ahead, pick it up, and uh, yeah, enjoy. So, if you enjoyed my review, definitely go ahead, give me a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for more reviews, and, you know, I'm trying to do, you know, top tens, and I got all these different videos and packages i guess you want to call it so definitely go ahead check them out and check out all my the links that i have i'll have in the you know in the description box i got a twitter and an instagram where i show off my movies i got a horror amino i got a whole bunch of stuff so definitely go ahead check out those uh other sites and yeah i guess until next time i'll see you